our role out here is to prepare for EABO uh, by providing the air control team. So it's a new expeditionary setup uh, that allows DAS capabilities for aviation command and control to be inserted via organic Marine Corps rotary ring lift uh, onto an austere island in preparation for, for EABO. This is important for EABO uh, because we provide the ability to integrate both aircraft and missiles in support of maritime operations. So we're experimenting with HMLA uh, to strike surface targets uh, that would traditionally be, be supported by the Navy. Uh, we're working to expand that command and control capability so that the Marine Corps uh, can fight in the Pacific uh, to, to engage our adversaries uh, and their naval capabilities. The air control team enables us to fight now uh, by being small, mobile, uh, and light enough to be able to be, be inserted by organic Marine Corps assets so that we can, you know, on a moment's notice, pack up, have all this gear ready to go, uh, go right across the street to the flight line, uh, get in touch with HMH and be inserted where we need, when we need to be there uh, at, the, at the moment's notice. The biggest challenge uh, for us operating in a maritime environment that's, that's very distributed uh, is, is obviously logistics. So we, we have a generator, we have trucks, we have communications, uh, and keeping the, those, those items all fueled as well as our Marines supplied with chow and water. Uh, have the same challenge as the rest of the Marine Corps as, as we're going to prepare for EABO is how do we insert into an austere location uh, that is potentially separated from the rest of the, the MEF uh, and still keep ourselves sustained for the amount of time we need to operate in that location.